Hi folks, welcome back. Today we're going to be reading a book called A Seed is Sleepy by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. This is a beautiful book all about how diverse and plentiful seeds are on our planet Earth and how they do what they do and their magic. So we're going to read together and my wonderful camerawoman Jess is going to zoom in as we read the book. A Seed is Sleepy. Look at all of those seeds. A seed is sleepy. It lies there, tucked inside its flower, on its cone or beneath the soil, snug, still. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself too quickly. Most seeds sleep through a season or two, waiting for the warmer temperatures of spring, but some take their time. Ten years might pass before the bright red-orange seed of the Texas mountain laurel shows its purple blooms. A seed is fruitful. Ninety percent of the plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they've found the right place to grow. On this page we have examples of Texas Burberry, papaya, strawberry, which we're planting in our garden here, turpentine broom, Italian almond, also blueberries, oh my very favorite foods. <laughs> A seed is naked. Yes, naked. Scientists called gymnosperms, seeds that aren't clothed in fruits, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. Who would guess that a seed as small as a freckle would grow into the world's tallest tree? Only 10% of redwood trees begin as seeds though. Most redwood trees spring from existing trees. Look how large it is, you can see the little person. <laughs> Seeds come in many sizes. The orchid seed is the smallest of all. There might be a million seeds in one pod. The seeds of the coco de mer palm is the largest. It can weigh up to 60 pounds. It is larger than the winning pumpkin. A seed is adventurous. It must strike out on its own in search of less crowded place to put down roots. A parachute of fine silky hairs can take a dandelion seed a hundred miles from its parent plant. What? Do you know that? <laughs> There's milkweed that Jess is, I think Jess is planting some of that. Hopseed, maple leaf. There's the maple leaf seed, also called the Samara, the dandelion. Drift seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. They have enough air inside them to help them float, and their thick, protective shells keep out seawater. So fun. The sea coconut. Wow, I'm learning so much just reading this. A monkey ladder. Wait, a seed is inventive. To find a spot to grow, a seed must leap from its pod, or cling to a child's susting, or tumble through a bear's belly, a seed hopes to land where there is plenty of sunlight, soil, and water. A seed is generous. It gives the baby plant, or embryo, a seed coat to keep it warm. The embryo's first meal comes from its seed leaves, or cotyledons. Seeds with one seed leaf, like corn, are called monocots. Seeds with two leaves, like beans, are called dicots. And here's a little diagram of a bean seed, and you can see its seed coat, which it will shed, and its cotyledon, its little radical, its little shoot that's going to come out. And this is my favorite part here. Look, you can see all the little seeds that are growing. Some seeds are ancient. Not all seeds are eager to germinate or sprout. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. 
The oldest known seed to sprout came from an extinct date palm after it was unearthed from a long ago king's mountaintop palace in Israel. A scientist planted it. Four weeks later, it sprouted. Whoa, and there's a little picture of the date palm seeds and perhaps the king's long ago palace. A seed is thirsty and hungry. Once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks in the rain, the dew, and yesterday's icicles. It feasts on minerals in the soil. Here's that bean again, or dicot. Part of the seed, the root, feels the tug of gravity and digs down deep into the earth. Another part of the seed, the shoot, is sensitive to light and it reaches for the sun. Seeds are so smart. A seed is clever. Oh! <laughs> it knows to seek the sunlight, to push itself up, up, up through the soil, but it must wait a while before that can happen. Plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Inside plant leaves are cells containing chemicals that absorb sunlight. Light gives them the energy they need to turn water and carbon dioxide, a gas in the air, into food. So this little bean is making its own food and energy. That's radical. <laughs> a seed is sleepy but only until it has found a place in the sun and it is, and has had its breakfast and a drink of water. And then a seed is awake. The end. <laughs>